Johnny, let me turn it over to you. And away we go. All right. Well, thanks, uh, thanks, Greg, for inviting me here. My name is Johnny Gordon. I am president of Burgess Inspection Group. Uh, I'm going to give you a brief, about one minute commercial, and then I'm going to jump right into the program. Uh, Burgess Inspection Group, we're one of the oldest, largest inspection companies in the state of Texas. Uh, Russ Burgess, our founder, started doing inspections back in 1969. Uh, one of the things he recognized right off the bat is there wasn't much education for inspection, so he was actually one of the first people to write a book on home inspections. This book is still being used all over the United States to train new inspectors, so we're very proud of Russ for doing that. Uh, we currently have seven full-time inspectors in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. We have one down in Austin. We cover the entire Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Uh, we provide residential, commercial, WDI inspections. We provide on-site computer-generated reports with uh, color photos in there. Our goal is when we walk out that door from inspection to be done with it, to print it, go over it to the inspection uh, with the buyers, answer all questions. If you have buyers that can't show up or or can't make it to the inspection, if we have their email addresses, all of our laptops are equipped with wireless cards. And we know how important it is to get that information in the buyer's hand in your hand. So if we have all that information, again, that is our goal, is to get it done right there in their hands. So that's enough on the commercial. What I am here to talk to you about this morning is the new property inspection reports and the new report standards. You'll find in front of you a packet like this. I highly recommend if you'll just take off the little binder clip. I just want to make sure you have everything in there. It's not in any particular order. Uh, one of the first things you'll see is property inspection report. That's not going to be yellow. Yours is going to be gray. We're going to go over this. This is actually the property, new property inspection report. The other thing you'll find in there is the standards of practice. And there you'll see a lot of yellow are in your situation gray there. So these are the two that we're going to spend most of your time this morning going over. Johnny, before you start, yeah. could you just tell us when this now becomes the uh, yes. in a, in yeah. the February 1st, okay. February 1st, 2009, so we're actually in this right now, okay? Another thing you'll see in there, make sure you have this, is this is called the OPI form. They get it from the numbers at the very bottom. It's the Texas Real Estate Consumer Notice Concerning Hazards and Deficiency, and we're going to go over this as well, so make sure you find that. And then the other two things in there is there's a highlight, and basically what this is that I took and summarized a lot of the changes on the inspection report and the standards of practice, things that I think will have the biggest impact on, on you and the buyers and the sellers. A good little thing to throw in your briefcase, and, and you know that way you can refer to it for all the changes. And then the last thing you'll see in there is a art fault uh, brochure, and we're going to talk a lot about that. Uh, tr trust me on that, so we're going to have a lot of questions. Okay, the first thing I want to talk to you about, if you will pull out the one that says the uh, property inspection report. <coughs> okay. uh, the inspector committee is made up of six inspectors and three uh, public members. They've been trying now for about three years to, to change the uh, standards of practice. Uh, we haven't changed the inspector report or the standards since 2000. Uh, a lot of changes, you know, were coming down that the TREC commissioners want us to address. And a lot of this, there was a lot of input that went into the standards from inspectors, from realtors, uh, from the TREC commissioners, uh, from the attorneys on staff down there, and the, and the enforcement committee. Uh, so as they changed this, one of the first things you'll, you'll notice here is everything that's listed in gray there that's shaded is a change. I went through the property inspection report and the standards to show you that. One of the first changes they made is, is there was a lot of complaints from consumers when they called in because they couldn't find anything. So we actually what they did is they took and restructured the standards to follow in the same format as the inspection report. So that's one of the first things you're going to notice there. Okay? All right. 